Welcome back everybody to the continuation of our let's play of Space Exploration, Crestorio 2 and AAI Vehicles. So, I'm standing in the mall over here, I've kind of populated the mall with everything we need. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff being made in here, as you can see. Um, well, maybe you can't see because it's kind of tiny to see. If we zoom in a little bit more, you can see it a little bit better. But, we make already a whole bunch of the intermediates, green circuits, red circuits, uh, electric components, robot boards, robots. You name it, we make it, everything is being made over here. Train parts over here, steel parts over there, some, some military parts over here. We actually want to make some meteor point defense as well, over here. Um, we got some, some flying robot frames over there, some steel pipes over here, some belts over there. There's pretty much everything being made over here. Now, I also kind of put uh, pulled down some lines from the top, uh, from the top old um, uh, factory over here. This one over here is still going to sit around for a while. Uh, because we don't have everything down here yet in terms of a new thing. And that's also a thing I kind of thought over here. Uh, before we finish off this thing over here, why not, as an intermediate solution, just set up a truck uh, that brings down steel from over here. Uh, we are making steel, of course, over there, uh, here. Uh, and we just put it into a vehicle depot container, and we just bring it down here for now. Just bring it over here so that we have steel available over here. Uh, for the things like glass and silicium or silicon, um, we are making it over here. So I just built this one down. And plastic, I just went and made a massive belt all the way over here. Yeah, we got hit by the here over here, by the way. Uh, <laughs> made the belt from over there all the way down, all the way over here into the mall. And the thing we're going to do today is, first and foremost, um, we are going to... Can I filter these? I can filter these. Uh, we are going to um, expand the trucking system a little bit. Uh, you will be steel only, please. Um, you will be uh, concrete. There we go. Yeah, we're going to expand this so that we can get other stuff uh, from the old factory into the new factory. And you will be blue circuits when I can find them. There they are. Good. Also, move you over a bit. Thank you very much. Good, 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 good. So, copy these. Copy these. We are making these in the mall. Uh, they are down there. They are coming over. There are some construction bots in the mall because we do need some bots over here to expand the mall. Um, but yeah, this will be fine. Good. We're going to reuse the same trucks up. And then after we set up the truck line, uh, we are going to set up an AI warden as a construction vehicle. This one is already set up to be a construction vehicle. Uh, but um, we're going to dedicate this one to a special construction vehicle. So that means we will have to make a special system over here. We might just start off with that real quick because it will probably take some time to fill up. We're gonna make a special system over here, a special truck depot over here, which is made only to accept the parts that we put into the AI warden for construction. Now, what will that be? Uh, I think first and foremost, we're gonna make an AI warden that takes care of things like trains. This will be a train building warden. Uh, which means we have our little station over here. Uh, we can click over here in this corner to tell what we want to import, what we want to export. Uh, over here, at any given time, uh, we want to have, say, uh, 200 signals. We want to have uh, 200 rail signals. Uh, a thousand track? A thousand track seems fine. Where's train track over there? 1,000. What is that other train track? What is this? Space rail. <laughs> I see. Uh, we don't need trains in here. Um, this one is only there to put down things that we need for train tracks, which will be tracks, signals. I guess stations is fine. Um, yeah, F like, nah, 50 is a little much, 20 is fine. Um, but yeah, train tracks are mostly made of, well, we can check. Uh, let's just check what our big intersection over here eats. Yeah, signals and tracks. Uh, and I just saw that that one... Um, yeah, we need, we need more of this. <laughs> Let's go with 10,000. Yes, good. Um, yeah, and it will probably take some time to, to load up. Now, uh, we can order up the stuff if we just put down some, some chests over here. Uh, let's put down four chests. However, putting the right stuff in here is going to be a little bit complicated. Now, we can easily... Just get some filter stack inserters. I don't have a filter stack inserter yet. Uh, we are making them over here. There we go. Give me one, please. Mm, where are they? Over there. Zip. Zip. 
Uh, we do need to power over here. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Good. Yeah, we can set this up to a filter stack inserter by just reading out what we are putting in signals over here. However, there are some random signals on here that we do not want. So, uh, we can do the following. Uh, we can do a combination. Uh, we can set them to specific signals. What we want to do is, is we want to set these filters over here. Now, technically, for this one, since we are only ordering up four things, we could set them by hand. We have four slots over here. Uh, I also just noticed this one over here. Ooh, that's a useful one. Um, so we could do it in a direct way, but later on we are going to have a more complicated builder. So it would be wise for us to solve it once and for all. Um, so let's see. We can always make a different um, uh, a diff between what is in here and what do we need. Uh, we can do something like, where are my combinators? Do we even have combinators on me? Are we making combinators down there? Oh god. Are we making combinators over here? That's a good question. Uh, we will be able to check um, combinators. No, we are not making combinators over here. Uh, do we have some free posts? Yes, over here. Um, you there. Make these, please. You there. Make these, please. Uh, we are also going to need some of these. There we go. And we are going to need... Um, well, no, speaker's not required. This should be fine. This should be fine. And yes, I kind of like how this works. Um, I mean, bots make it easier, yes, but they're meant to make it easier. And if you focus it down like this, then you're going to have a really good time. Good. Uh, combinators, there we go. I see some over there. I see some over here. Perfect. Uh, let's also get some of these. Excellent. We got everything we need. So, um, what we could do is the following. We also kind of want to order up uh, the correct items over here. So we want to set these up with some, some, some wires uh, to set the requests. Uh, we want to set these up uh, to set the uh, filter. Okay, it's far away. Uh, there we go. So these are now set up the filters. Uh, we are going to set up the filter by negating the amount of items that are here in here with the amount of items that we request from over there. So we need a thing that turns around. Uh, there we go. Let's place you over there. You input mm, each item, output each item, multiply it by minus one. Good. So this is the stuff that we have in here. And this is the stuff that we want. Now, problem with the stuff that we want is there are these signals in here that are a little bit confusing. We could maybe remove them. Do they do anything for us? I think we can remove them. I might be wrong about this. Uh, I might break something right now, but we're just going to remove them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we cannot remove them. <laughs> Okay, good to know. Um, good. Um, then let's negate these. Because if you if you put a negative signal into a filter, it will not show up. So let's just copy you over here. Oh, I didn't copy. Dang. Uh, I just removed it. Um, multiply these by minus one. So that's the stuff that we want to, want to have. Um, so let's wire you up. There we go. Negate that. Uh, and then we need to combine that with the stuff that we have in here. Um, sure. This might work. So you go in. This will be a red wire. You go in over there. So input signals is all of that. Output signals is all of that. These are now all negative. That's not good. No, this will not work. This will not work. Good. Remove this again. And then remove this one again. God dang it. <laughs> um, there we go. Copy paste. Okay, we, we do want to negate everything that we have in here. Uh, that's now inverted. There's nothing in here, so there's nothing coming out. Um, and then I guess we just filter away those signals. 
Um, we can filter them away in a simple way. Mm. Let's see. I know how to do it in a stupid way, but can we do it in a smart way? Maybe. Maybe with a decider combinator. Um, let's have a look at you. What kind of options do we have over here? Not a lot, but there we have over here. Uh, we have ants, or and source. Um, but this will not work in this way. So that's also not, not one that's quite good. Then, mm. let's have a look at this. Okay, we're doing it the stupid way. I know how to do the stupid way. Maybe somebody in the comment section will enlighten me how to do it a little bit smarter. Uh, but we are doing it in the stupid way. Now, what is the stupid way? Quite simple. Um, connect up this, 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 this. Um, actually, this is the wrong kind of combinator. There's a way to filter out signals um, if you do it like this. We we just take all in all signals. Um, we take in the signal that we want. In this case, we want to know about uh, rail signals. Uh, so rail signals are all over here. And we just multiply them by one. And we put out the amount of rail signals. Uh, there we go. Which means this one has now an output of only the rail system, uh, rail signals in that system. And then we're going to switch this over to things like uh, chain signals. And you over here will be rails. There we go. And you over there will be uh, train stations. There we go. Good. And now we have a clean output of everything. Uh, now, this is not a solving for, for everything in the future. So actually thinking about this. No, I've, I think I will have to have another think about this. Um, instead, we're going to do it the, the classic way. We're just going to set these filters. Uh, oh, I also noticed that we can only set these to enable disable. That will be fine. Um, actually, then we... Yeah, we need to set these to enable, disable. Actually, set filters is fine. We're keeping them at set filters. Um, because at some point, these will have no signals anymore. That will be fine. And then we just combine. Yeah, then we need then we need to set uh, the information on the outside, how we're going to do it. That will be this one over here. Uh, ooh. Wait a minute. If we don't put the stuff in directly over here, but over here, like, like get this out of here. Boop, boop. And instead, we set up a clean signal over here. Like we want to have, say, um, 10,000 rail signals. Um, 200 of these. Uh, nope, these please. 200 of these. And say 50 train, signal, uh, 50 train stations. Then we have this as a clean signal over here. Uh, we can then hook this one up. Uh, let's say with a green wire into the air. Done. This one should have the same signal as this one over here and there now. I hope. Um, yeah, that should work. That should work. We did this once before uh, for another machine. Um, and then we can calculate with this. And with this, it will be easier. So we negate the amount of stuff that is in here. Let's just put for reference like 100 rails in here. Uh, which means you put out minus 100. Um, then we want to have in here like 10,000. Uh, so we hook it up like this. We hook it up like this. Good. These are set up to filters. Uh, we can maybe just as a proof of points set these to say 20. We set them to 2. 2 is also fine. Um, if we put in 2 of these, then this filter shuts itself off. Perfect. And these over here. Uh, these will be hooked up to this one, so that we... Nope. If we hook up this one directly, then these over here will non-stop be ordering up 10,000 rails. Um, you know what? Instead, we just do... We don't connect these up at all. And there we go. Instead, we just set these by hand. And I think just ordering up 100 over here, uh, 50 over there, uh, 50 over there, and 5 over here. I think it's fine, or 10 over there will be fine. Good. And that should work. So this one over here is going back to, say, 200. Excellent.
And there we go. And this one will now slowly fill up with materials for us uh, to build. Uh, now, we should protect this one as soon as possible with a meteor po meteorite point defense because this one is going to be expensive if this one gets blown up. But in the meantime, uh, we want to set up another truck. Uh, for that, we need an AI truck. And for that, we need to set up um, a new uh, truck station. There we go. And for now, I'm just going to let this truck just drive like crazy through the base. Uh, I'm not going to build a road for this one. Uh, building the road is just tedious, and this is only going to be like um, a simple solution, just like a, an intermittent solution, uh, just so that we can get stuff out of over here. Good! So, what do we need? Um, oh, uh, I need another one of these. Mm, I need some iron plate for that. There is some iron plate over here. Uh, let's see, is the iron line... There we go. How much is missing? There we go, there we go, and off we go. Good! So it's going to be over here. We got concrete over here. Uh, <laughs> I see that we yet again build an underground belt under a tree. Good job, me. Um, here, rotate you over there. You get one of these. I don't have one of these, so I'll just pocket cross one real quick. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Then we also want... Uh, these over here. There we go. And then you go out of there. One more of these, please. Good. We also want the blues. Uh, we could maybe also think about picking up other stuff from over here. But for now, this will be fine. And then, very important, we do need to put in some fuel over here for the little truck. Else he will not be able to drive around. So you will be over there. Um, we're just going to move you all the way over there. You all the way over there. Uh, make some more loaders. Uh, we need some wires. There we go. Stop these belts. Um, at any given time, we want to have in here, say, where's blue circuits over there? Uh, 200 of these. That sounds fair. And at any given time over here, uh, we want to have over here, uh, this is going to be concrete. Uh, where is concrete over there? Say, a thousand concrete. Good. In you go. Uh, and then, of course, we need some fuel. Uh, by the way, power, we probably have to work on power soon. I saw it reach its maximum capacity a couple times already. Uh, it's probably currently just, like, sleeping a bit. Maybe backlogged or something like that. Uh, but here comes the power. That didn't work. That works. There we go. And then we just need some fuel over here. There we go. Let's just pick up this red stuff. We don't need the red stuff. And then give it a piece of wire. There we go. And at any given time, if uh, biofuel... Now, biofuel is not the best for vehicles, but then again, I don't really care. If this is less than 200, then fill it up in here. Good. So, truck station is being filled. Uh, over here, we're going to set um, biofuel over here to be exported. Uh, then concrete over here can be exported. And then, of course, the last thing that we need is blue circuits, of which over here, these over here, will also be exported. There we go. Um, do we have a truck around? Um, I think there's one over here. That's an AI hauler. We just need to fill them up. Perfect. Uh, we're going to make a new path, if I can click the correct one. Uh, this is going to be the uh, concrete circuit aux path. Uh, it's going to start over here. It's going to end over there, and I'll let Pathfinder do the rest. I don't care. This will be fine. This will be fine. Good. Uh, and then switch back to this one, and then take it away. Uh, which means we are going to need some fuel for that hauler down there, so that it can start working. Um, so let's go over to this hauler real quick. Where is he? He was down here somewhere, wasn't he? And there he is. You there. Have some fuel, please. Uh, then we need to set him up. Um, in his unit data, he will not pick up things like concrete. He will not pick up things like blue chips uh, or biofuel. So we have to set, up, set it up. Uh, you can pick up, say, up to... That's a little bit too much. A thousand blue chips. Uh, and you can pick up up to, say... 
uh, 5,000 concrete. You're also allowed to pick up biofuel up to 200. There we go. And then you basically get your command tool out. Uh, and then I think it was shift click or was it control click? Now you shift click uh, the little zone over here and then he will be on his merry way. Good. Let's hope that he does not get hit by this train over here. Uh, that cannon will happen. Um, that's a risk. We're going to live with it. At some point, he will be hit by that. Uh, but concrete will now be brought over here. The only thing we didn't do over here is we didn't set up the output station so that we can also accept concrete. So let's hope that he will be coming around soon. In the meantime, we are going to set up the construction vehicle for trains. Um, so that we can do that via remote and I don't have to do that myself. Good. Now, a thing I kind of notice with these wardens uh, with bots in them, I kind of notice that every now and then he loses his bots. Every now and then when he's working, the bots stop working and then they fly back to rubble ports over here. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, maybe I have to switch all of these over into logistic mode so that they do not catch construction bots anymore. But we do need these to be in construction mode over here. Oh, actually, we don't really need these to be in construction mode over here to expand them all. We could just do that ourselves if we want to. Uh, we could try that here. Maybe, maybe that does make it a little bit easier. Oh, I have to... Oh, God. Oh, I have to click on everyone. Maybe without having, like, um, a construction zone down here, maybe they will never, ever come back over here. But, yeah, this, this will basically switch these over to supply only and not construct only. Um, this one is, by the way, also hooked up to some chests so that we can add some new bots in it. And let's see if we can, hopefully, also move over uh, the moat. Oh, he was already there! God dang it, we missed him already! He's fast! <laughs> Well, let's hope he will be back in the next eight minutes. Um, you there. Um, where is he? Uh, let's accept up to 500 of these. And let's accept up to... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Concrete. Uh, let's say up to 1,000 concrete. There we go. Good. Yeah, he's, he's pretty flink. Well, it's not too far away, I guess. And this place over here is slowly filling up with good stuff. Uh, and then at least we can have concrete down here. Good concrete. Might as well at some point in time come in via train. We are already through our first train supply over here. We already have the issue over here that we have run out of uh, train fuel. Um, that's definitely going to be an issue. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do that later on. We still need to put in a refueling system for trains. We could just as well put um, a truck stop over here, uh, which orders up like a bit of fuel. And then we just belt it over here and fuel up these trains. Uh, actually, we don't even need to belt it over here. We could just use these boxes over here um, just to set them up um, via bots. Uh, technically, we could make some fuel in here, but then again, trains like the, the ore trains, they will never come over here. So they will need to be refueled somewhere el somehow else. I'm kind of thinking of just making a refueling station over here in the smeltery for now uh, because that will hit all trains, but we will see about that soon. Now, this thing first, the ward. Um, we need to set them up. Uh, there we go. Uh, there you go. So, you are allowed to pick up things like... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is train tracks? Yeah, train tracks. Up to 10,000 train tracks, please. Uh, then up to 50 stations. Up to 200 signals. Uh, both of them. There we go. Uh, you're good for fuel. You're good-ish for fuel. Uh, you have some of this. Do I still have some process on me? Yes, there we go. Uh, then, things you kind of want to get rid of. Uh, we do have to make a station somewhere where we empty him out of all the stone and all the wood and all the coal he will be picking up and all probably all of these ores over here. Uh, we'll have to have a think about that. He's also kind of full of concrete. Let me just get it out of here and put it over there. Speaking of concrete, hey, again... The sneaky truck has arrived over here. We have some concrete and some blue chips over here. Um, which does mean that we are, can now make everything that needs blue chips over here. Uh, and concrete. Concrete is required for things like big power poles and substations, as well as robot ports and the meteor point defense. Uh, there we go. Pick this up. Uh-oh. That's fine. <laughs> 
Good. And let's put that in there. There you go. Um, and he is basically ready to go. Let's test him out. You, get over here. There we go. Ah. Wait a minute. We don't we don't need to connect this up. <laughs> this is a non-requirement. Well, it's it's technically a requirement. What we need to do over here is um uh, we export this. Yes. And then uh we export this. There we go. And then we export the chain signals. There we go. And we also export the train stations. There we go. Good. Ah, oh, that looks way better. Uh, oh, a thing he does need. Uh, things we want to order up in here um, are construction bots. Like uh, 100. Oop. <laughs> and then you over here, you want to export construction bots. Just in case we lose bots. Then you over here, you want to have, say, where are they? A hundred of these on you at any given time. Uh, I think a hundred is fine. He can supply up to a hundred robots. So you want to have up to a hundred bots on you. Um, and they should be supplied in here. So are you filling up with some bots at least? You got 17 construction bots on you. Yep, I'm going to give you some of mine. Uh, there might also be some construction bots around here somewhere. Yeah, give me these. Give me those. Give me all of those. That should be fine. Good, good, good. The mall over here is getting more and more active, which is great. Uh, and here you go. Have some of these. Uh, he's now a little bit over. That's fine. He is supplied and ready to go. And we're just going to send you all the way over there and start constructing, please. Good. Good, 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 good. And in the meantime, this thing over here will be filled up with more supplies for the construction train. Um, truck. Construction truck. Now, um... We have to be a little bit careful. We might want to make some crossroads over here. Just for the truck to get over. Uh, as well, if we're not careful about him, uh, a train will just run him over. <laughs> I guess this is fine for now. Uh, don't think we need to do anything. I'm also kind of surprised to see that this train managed to... Oh, I think he wanted to leave and then he emptied himself out. Yeah, he's, he's just over the station, I think. Yeah, barely. Uh, but that is fine. Uh, but we should be able to see him to start construction over there. So let's have a peek over there to see what he does. And then we are also... While he goes over there, uh, let's go over here real quick. We will have to put some meteorite point defense in here. Uh, we have to move over there. How big is the range of these? Oh, quite large. Okay. How big is the building? Also, quite large. Uh, but... We could put them on the top, and we could put them on the bottom. Uh, we can probably make one more row down here, and then we can just place them on the top and the bottom. That will be fine as well. So, yeah, he's right. Ah, yeah, this is exactly what I mean. <laughs> and then they just all just leave. And you just sit there and go like, excuse me, bots, why? It could be because there is a storage chest over here, and I guess they go over here because it's storage time. But he now over there has no bots left. Well, he has two bots left. Two friends remaining. <laughs> Three friends remaining. I see him. Um, they are now doing all the work. And in the meantime, all the bots over here. Well, uh, they probably... Wait. Uh, there we go. Where are they? Yeah, they just fly back home. To charge at these ports and not at him over there. And then they probably just go back home and skedaddle. And I find that mildly infuriating. Now, we did not set these up to be non-construction bots yet. So maybe if we just remove the construction area over there as well, maybe that will help. But that's that's a really annoying bug, because that, that basically makes construction vehicles not a thing. If you have, like, robot ports somewhere on the map... That's construction mode, just one, please. Um, then these bots over here will just be like, nope. Nope, 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 nope. We just go. Nope. <laughs> we don't help you. <laughs> we leave. Uh, which is, of course, a little bit annoying. Um, interestingly enough, it works fine for the bots I carry on myself. But it does not seem to work fine for the bots that, that 
uh, we put in you. Now, you, just come back. I'm going to try again. Uh, all these construction bots, yeah, they're now all over here. So I'm going to pick up two snacks. Uh, this also... Eh, okay, construction bot range over here is fine. Are we actually making bots down here? No, products finish zero, products finish zero. We're probably not making bots over here because you probably still need stuff like batteries and big motors. Yeah, we're not making bots over here yet. Uh, we do need to make bots over here because we do lose bots every now and then. Uh, robot attrition is a thing. Um, so every now and then a bot will just uh, collapse in on itself. So we do have to be careful about that. Um, but everything else is fine over here. Now they should be making robot ports over here. Um... They have made robot ports over here. Ah, but because they are not in construction mode, they will not place them down. They will be placed down by my bots, yes. These, however, are automatically in logistic mode, and we are also sitting at low power. No, wait. He has low power. We are not sitting at low power. So all of this is fine. Good. There comes our construction vehicle again. Let's give it one more try. To see if it works or not. Uh, yeah, half half my bots. There we go. Uh, he is full of stuff. That is fine. And let's give him like one more move over here, and see if he actually does the thing he is supposed to do. Good. If not, we will have to probably figure out something else. If not, how far away is Spider Tron? Because I think Spider Tron will work. Um, where's the spider? Ah, uh, it's not too far. We need rocket science and then the first biological science pack and the first material science pack. So it's not too deep in there, but it is kind of deep. Um, material science over here, how do you make that? Yeah, I think we also have to make that in space. Used by space science labs, yeah, we have to do that in space. So that's going to be a whole different problem. Good. In the meantime, let's watch this guy real quick. Um, I just noticed something we need to do over here as well. Uh, we should probably also give him some repair packs because he can repair as well. Um, so let's also start exporting repair packs over here. Um, and here, just to slow them up with, say, a hundred of these. Uh, over here, order up, say... Um, oh, we are not even ordering our bots over here. Good to know, good to know. Um, so bots over here. Bring in like 10. And then repair packs over here. Bring in like 20. I'll be fine. And then there we go. So uh, there he is. He still has. Did he lose his bots? He lost two bots, I think. No, I think those bots are still coming back from, from uh, um, a previous endeavor. There they go. He has some bots on him. Oh, 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 oh. They're coming back to him. Ah. You know what it is? I think when he stops moving, I think he switches gears. I think he then quickly but uh, subtly loses the rubble port coverage. And then these bots go like, nah, we out, we out. I think that's what's happening, because it happened the moment he stopped. Well, that's a thing I'm probably going to figure out soon. Uh, I will probably uh, bash my brains around that a little bit. Uh, either way, uh, that will be it for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment. Every one of those actions will help me out in making this channel an amazing thing sometime in the future. Nevertheless, you can also find me on twitch.tv slash boldviking, where I have this amazing Pyanodon space which has been running around since ages. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening and until next time, see you around! Freaking bots! <laughs>